last time Casey Tatum heard from her son Garrett was two weeks ago. That was way before the invasion. She says all she can do is pray and hope her son and friends in Ukraine are safe and well. Watching Russian soldiers invade Ukraine tugs at Casey Tatum's heart. It's just been a it's been a roller coaster ride. Just not knowing is the hardest part. Tatum's 23 year old adopted son Garrett, also known as Dima for short in Ukrainian, lives 30 minutes outside the capital, Kiev. I saw uh, some videos on YouTube of actual soldiers in his hometown uh, staving off some Russian soldiers. They didn't come into the town, but there was some damage. Tatum adopted Garrett from a Ukrainian orphanage in 2014. After four and a half years in the U.S., Garrett made the tough decision to move back to his home country. It's been tough on my mama heart <laughs> because I miss him terribly, but I know that it's what he wanted and we've tried to support him in different ways while he's there. The last time they spoke was two weeks ago via messenger. They haven't heard from him since. We were recently speaking to him about some possibilities to return right before the invasion. So it's been um, it's it's really been difficult. What's not difficult is seeing the images of people in Birmingham rally behind Ukrainians thousands of miles away. What does Birmingham have to do with it? We stood up to horrible people in 1963. We stood up to fight injustice. These people are the exact same spirit as those who fought in the streets of this town in 1963 for freedom. And freedom is all Tatum's son and friends in Ukraine want right now. Hope and pray that our son, if he is whatever is going on with him, um, that he will be safe and that his homeland will um, be able to be free and that we'll have, they will have peace. And we just talked with Casey. She still hasn't heard from her son. She hopes to get a text from him soon. What an important story. Magdala, why has communication been so difficult uh, for the family? Well, Jeff, first of all, internet connection at his home isn't that great right now. The best way to communicate is through Messenger. Uh, she also tells me that calling is very expensive for the 23-year-old, so the only time will tell when um, you know he can send a message to her at this point. But he does have extended family in Ukraine, so she's hoping he's with them and everyone there is safe. That's what we pray tonight. Thank you very much, Magdalene.